I didn't realize until a couple of years ago that I didn't truly love myself. And once I recognized it, I decided to go on a spiritual healing. And I also knew that a lot of it had to do with the way that I felt about myself. It was mostly all in my mind. And so I had to pray to God about it and ask him to renew my mind. I am free and it feels good. And the reason why that I decided to create a series of videos about how to love yourself is because I want to help you to love yourself. So if you have issues with loving yourself, make sure you stick around and watch the full video. And also go back and watch the two other videos that I have created about how to love yourself. Tip number one, embrace yourself. One of the main things that I had to learn how to do is embrace myself. Embracing myself was accepting myself, not trying to be perfect, but loving myself in the way that I am. Embracing myself too, I had to accept my personality. I had to accept that it's okay to be an introvert. And I used to feel that I was a little weird, but I finally realized that I'm not weird. I just think more than I talk and that's okay. I have learned to accept who I am and not to look at it as a disadvantage. One of the main things I do like about being an, an introvert is that I'm very sensitive to other people's feelings. And instead of looking at it as a disadvantage, now I look at it as a privilege. So that's what you have to do is to accept who you are and the things that you don't like about yourself. Don't look at it as something negative anymore. I would say it's more to do with your mindset and how the way that you feel about yourself. So once you start to embrace yourself, that's when you will start to see good in yourself that's when you will also start finding value in yourself. Tip number two, accept compliments. A person that is very confident, when someone gives them a compliment, you know, they don't pay much attention because it's something that they already know. But a person that is a little insecure or someone to give them a compliment, they're gonna try to play it down. For example, let's say if someone tell me that I like your outfit, and I would find something wrong about my outfit. You know, I would say, instead of just saying thank you, I would say something like, I don't like the color, or not believing that it's cute. I have learned when someone gives me a compliment to accept the compliment and also to believe it and not to try to make the compliment into something negative just to make myself feel good. And it, it's kind of, it sounds a little crazy, but you're not going to understand it unless you have been there. It took me a while to learn how to accept a compliment and not to get embarrassed about it. You know, just to say thank you and just leave it at that. Tip number three, love your body and imperfections. For some reason, I think that the average woman have some type of insecurities about her body. And one thing that has helped me in that area is that I look at my body and I focus on things about my body that I like. And like even when I'm getting dressed, I try to wear things that's going to compliment me. One thing that you have to realize as a woman is that no one's body is perfect. And no matter what size you are, learn to love your body. Don't criticize the way your body is shaped. And one of the main things that I do is when it comes to my body or anything else in life, the things that I can change, that is what I change. And the things that I can't, I don't worry about it. As for now, instead of criticizing your body or the way that you look, Focus on becoming more healthier. That's more important. Tip number four, be active. That's one of the best things that you can do to feel better about yourself is to become active. It's important to me to look good, but it's even more important 
to me to feel good. I want to live a healthy life. I want to have energy. And I do know that the only way that it's going to happen is I have to exercise. One thing I have noticed is like the more I exercise, the more energy that I have. And I can also say too, that's why I'm not afraid of getting older. I'm more concerned about being healthy, being able to take care of myself, having a healthy mindset, being healthy spiritually and mentally. I would like to know what tip did you like the best? If you like my message and you want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flo, and it's all about self-development. So if you want to improve yourself, join my Facebook group. I would love to have you. Thank you for tuning in, and make sure you stay tuned for the next upload of How to Love Yourself.